Wondering how to generate high quality AI images for free using Flux One? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can access Flux One without paying for a subscription to Grok. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here and my goal is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment below, and let's dive into Flux One. So first of all, if you're brand new to Flux One, this is a new AI image generation model developed by a company called Black Forest Labs. And I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. Now you can think of this as an alternative to DALI, which is run by OpenAI, Stable Diffusion, Ideogram I believe has their own model, AI image model, Leonardo AI has their own image model, Midjourney, right? This is an alternative to all of those. And what makes this stand out is it's more uncensored than those traditional AI image models. So if you go to Grok, you may have seen images like this floating around that if you went to ChatGPT or Midjourney, they would never let you generate AI images that look like this. Same with something like this, right? So Grok has really uh, taken the AI community and just social media by storm here with some of these AI images that it is generating. So in order to access Flux One inside Grok, you must be a paid member of X Premium or X Premium Plus, which I believe costs eight or nine dollars, somewhere in that ballpark every month, which is relatively inexpensive. It's around the same price as Mid Journey, um, but that is what most people think you have to do in order to access Flux One to generate images. So you have they have some pre prompts here from Flux One. So if I click Astronaut on Mars, it's going to take a little bit to generate this, and this is what it looks like inside uh, X. Premium premium as I am a paid subscriber. So very high quality images that you can generate in here. However, the very first way that you can access Flux One for free is using Hugging Face. So if you go to this URL here, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below, like I mentioned, you'll see this page that looks like this. Well, you want to use the Black Forest Labs Flux One Schnell model, and then you'll be prompted with a page that looks like this. And here are some examples of what Flux One has created, but on the right hand side, you can enter a text prompt. So if I do something simple, and I'm gonna do something simple here for all of these different examples that I show, uh, dogs playing in the snow. We'll just do something simple here to start and you'll see it's spinning, so it's generating using Flux One. Uh, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. All right, so here's the image that Flux One generated. This took about five seconds, five to 10 seconds, somewhere around there, but not bad, right? All I did was give it five words of dogs playing in the snow, and this is what it came up with. It looks pretty realistic to me. I can download this, I can edit it in Canva, Photoshop, do whatever you want with it. But if we wanna take this to another level, what we can actually do is use the Flux Prompt Generator. Now this is another free tool inside Hugging Face. You can find this in the description below and it looks overwhelming, right? But what you can do is under this Generate Prompt where it says Prompt Generation right here, Generate Prompt and Input Text, I'm just gonna put the same exact sentence that I had of dogs playing in the snow. We're gonna make this easy. Now you could come in here and do you know a custom input prompt, a subject. You could change the art form and photo type. So actually, let's say I wanna make this photography, right? I don't want this in art. So if I click photography, uh, you can do, let's see, photo types. You can come down here and do different photo types. Character details, so if you're creating headshots or some form of avatar, this might be useful here. Uh, scene details, style and artist. Uh, more detailed prompt. I mean, you can just get really in the weeds with this prompt generator. But once you're done, you're going to want to click this option here that says generate prompt with LLM. You'll see it's taking about five seconds to process that prompt. And then here is the more sophisticated prompt. So it says a nostalgic winter scene reminiscent of Wes Anderson's whimsical style with a warm golden color. I would have never thought of something like this, right? So this is why this tool is helpful. So if I come in here and copy this, I'm actually going to go back Let's refresh this page. And then I'm gonna come back into the prompt uh, little text box here. I'm gonna paste that new prompt that I just got from the prompt generator, click compute, and then I'm gonna skip ahead after this is complete. All right, so here's the image that Flux One generated inside of Hugging Face, Hugging Face excuse me, using that more advanced prompt. 
Uh, not terrible. I mean, it almost looks the same as my other one. Obviously, there's more detail here. There's, you know, a cabin in the background. It's snowing. The dogs are doing more motions, right? So whatever you want to do inside this prompt, just get creative. Use an AI prompt generator to improve your prompts. And this is the first way you can use Flux One for free without paying for a subscription to Grok is inside Hugging Face. Now, the second way you can use Flux One for free is with a website called PickLumen, picklumen.com. You can find this in the video description below. Now, right away, it gives me some community creations that people have used from Flux One. And I also notice that if I come and click on my account, click profile, or even click you know usage dashboard, there's no way to input a payment. Usually these types of SaaS tools for AI text generation, image generation, video generation, whatever it is, it's always some sort of freemium model. Now with Pick Lumen, I'm not even seeing an option to pay for it. So you can sign up for free, click create on the left-hand side, or if you wanna just view things in the community, latest likes, et cetera, you can do that as well. But if you click create on the left-hand side, what you wanna do first is come up top and choose your image model. So it looks like Pick Lumen has their own AI image model, or maybe it's white labeling something else, I'm not sure. Um, but down here, you see Flux One Schnell, and you can use this for free. Now you can you know, update the image dimensions if you want, um, I'm actually going to do 16 by 9 just for curious. I'm just going to leave that as is. And then here is the text prompt or the text box where you can use to enter your prompt. Notice how there's a way to upload images. It looks like you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do dogs playing in the snow. And then I'm going to click generate. And then I'm going to come back when this is complete. So here's what it came up with, right? Very basic. Again, I can click in here. It looks like there's more uh, features here I can look at. I can download it. Here's the prompt right here. You can actually add negative prompts inside this pick lumen, which is really interesting. You can share it on social media. It looks like there's a custom link you can create. But now what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to use the flux uh, prompt generator. I'm going to go in here and open up chat GPT and try to create a better image prompt using an LLM like chat GPT. You can also do this using Claude as well. I'm actually going to prompt this with the following. You are an expert in graphic design and AI image generation. When I provide you with a topic, I want you to provide three different prompts I can use to generate high quality images using an AI image generation model like Midjourney. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And it's going to say, you know, what is your topic? So I'm just going to say, again, let's stick with the same topic of dogs playing in the snow. And then what this is going to do is it's going to generate three more advanced prompts that I can copy and paste those prompts into Pick Lumen using Flux One in the background to hopefully generate a higher quality AI image. So this one looks cool. You know, a group of playful dogs with different breeds frolicking in the snow. Let's just do this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead copy and paste this, come back to pick Lumen. I'm going to click create on the left hand side, X out of this, paste my prompt in here. I'm going to click generate and then I'm going to come back when this is complete. All right. So I actually went ahead and did all three of these prompts here inside pick Lumen. As you'll see, I actually really like this image, right? So that's one image that it generated. Here's the second one. And then here's the last one. I like that image a lot too. It looks like that dog even has sunglasses on. So uh, I really enjoy a prompt like this and I'll leave a link or excuse me, I'll copy and paste this prompt in the video description below. If you guys are curious and just want to use this to improve your AI image prompts, but long story short, that is the second way that you can use flux one for free is with a website called pick Lumen. Now, the third way you can use Flux One for free is with a website called Crea. I've actually mentioned Crea before on my channel uh, as they were known for being an AI video generation. I'm not sure what exact model they're using, but I know it's an AI video generator and they've really come a long way here. So they recently added Flux to their disposal. Now, this is a freemium model, if I remember correctly. So there's Crea Pro, uh, so you can use it for free for free daily generations, limited access to tools, of course, starts at $10 a month, you can get $35 or $60 a month. But it is, again, one of those freemium models, which is very, very common that we see in the world of AI SaaS. But anyways, you can sign up for a free account on Crea, and you should see a screen that looks like this with Flux right on top. Simply come in here and click Generate Images. And right down here, you'll see we get the text box like we do to enter our prompts. And I've actually done this in the past. Again, shocker, right? Dogs playing in the snow. That's the example I use for every AI image generation example, it seems. So let's go ahead and do it again. I'm going to do dogs playing in the snow. 
I'm gonna click generate. And while it's doing that, I'm actually gonna come back to chat GPT. I'm gonna open up a new chat, do that more advanced AI image prompt. And instead of dogs playing in the snow, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Let's do something like uh, a dragon flying over a castle. This is just some random thing that came into my head. And so now this is gonna generate three more advanced prompts based on the topic of a dragon flying over a castle. And so I'm actually gonna copy and paste this first one here, see if I can get it while the tool continues to generate. So let's copy, come back to Crea AI, and here is that first uh, you know, bat batch of images that were created from that simple text prompt of dogs playing in the snow. I like that one, that's a cool image there. Uh, all these are pretty much the same. That one's maybe not as realistic as the others. Uh, that's a cool one too, right? But again, you can download this. They have a download button. Uh, there's also different types of images here or different modes here that you can do. Uh, there's more customization stuff going on. There's like a settings button. You can do a random prompt right here, which is kind of cool. So if I click random prompt, coastal cliffs with nests of storks perch. I don't even know what those words are. Uh, but anyways, Let's paste that uh, more advanced prompt of a dragon flying over a castle. And then I'm gonna come back after this is complete. All right, so I actually went ahead and did all three of these prompts here that ChatGPT gave me. And if I come back into Crea, here's what it gave me, right? So what I like about this is it generates four images at once versus just the one. Now, all of these are relatively the same, but I like to have more variety if I like one better than the other three, right? That's a cool image right there. Uh, that's a really cool image right there, right? It can do some really cool stuff here. And then here's the other variation it gave me. That's just a really cool image as well. Uh, I like that one, right? So really guys, that is the third option that I would recommend using to use Flux One for free to generate high quality AI images is this Crea AI. So that's it guys, that's how you generate high quality AI images for free using Flux One without paying for a subscription to Grok. Now, if you found this video valuable, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below if you know of any other methods where you can use Flux One for free. Appreciate you if you've made it this far and guys, most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.